taste right out of the storybook. They come after me. I'll stick them like a nogtail. what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we could steal some beasts from the pens at Hogwarts. Pick is to tell us. It's shameful what you've done. Rebellion. Repair him. Huh? <laughs> 
Shame I didn't have an audience for that one. Here's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. Revelio. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. Nothing pleasant about this coast. I received your owl. Thank you. I'm glad you came. I spotted droves of Ranrock's loyalists coming up from the coast. Overheard one of them say they're headed to another cavern, like the one we found. How are they still one step ahead of us? They can't know about the triptych. I don't know. I did see another memory. This time, it was a keeper named Neve Fitzgerald. She was unnerved by Isadora's use of ancient magic. But I still can't be sure how any of it connects to Ranrock. These keepers are playing games with you. You need to press them for more information. It doesn't work like that. To access each of these memories, I have to complete a trial. It's not as easy as you think. They're showing me the memories in a particular order. They... Oh, 
Either they don't trust you, or you don't care enough about Anne to ask the difficult questions. Of course I care, Sebastian. We've come this far. Don't let your frustration get the better of you. Fine. I'll defer to your keeper friends. For now. But I don't like it. We don't have a choice. Now, shall we see why the triptych led us here? Let's go, quickly, before we're spotted. Keep a close eye out. I saw some of Ranrock's crew moving off the path just ahead. I wonder why. Raiding, I imagine. This mountain used to safeguard local hamlet valuables. But it's been abandoned ever since Ranrock took hold of the coast. I have a brother who works at Gringotts. Revelio. Loyalists deserve the same fate. Nice work. Thestrals overhead. Some consider them a bad omen. Hmm. Not everyone does. I know that. All right. I'm making small talk. Track up this mountain in silence. Revelio. Wingardium Leviosa. Accio. I bet the Thestral Nest is close by. Kill any of you trespass! Let's go. Wait! We should have some sort of plan. I'm through planning. Revelio. We must remain unseen. <sighs> Enjoy suffering, do you? They deserved. Revelio! What were you thinking? I was thinking about dead goblins. You could have got us killed. But I didn't. Looks like Grand Rock's loyalists were heading further up the path. Let's keep going. Revelio. Confringo. Revelio. 
Ramrock's gonna make everyone pay. Anything made from goblin silver belongs to us. Whether it's a sword or a repository, whatever that is. Did you hear that, goblin? Ridiculous notions of ownership. late for you to learn the error of your ways. Confringo! Lumos. Lumos. Good wizards and dead wizard. Ranrog's got that right, and I'll be most keen to help him achieve Revenia. his goals in that regard. I was only following orders. Leave your accusations in someone else's direction if you don't mind. Why are you suddenly so cautious? Listen to me. I know you're angry and frustrated, but charging ahead now could undo all the progress we've made. Lord Gok said... Oh, your goblin friend? Stop it. That's enough. Not all goblins are like Ranrock. I am not the enemy. We want the same thing, to find answers. 
I thought we wanted the same thing. We do. Listen to me. Lord Gok has insights into Ranrock that we don't. He told me that Ranrock somehow knows about the Keepers and is searching anywhere connected to each of them. That's why they always seem to be one step ahead. I know what I'm doing. You need to trust me, or I don't see that we can continue together. Fine. Fine. I'm sorry. I'm letting my emotions get the better of me. And I have been for a while. I do trust you. And I don't think I can help Anne without you. Good. Ranrock clearly knows more than we thought. We need to be careful and do this right, not just go charging in. We have our work cut out for us. We need to work together if we're going to find the final piece to the triptych. Agreed. Rebellion. Safe travels, my young friends. So far, so good. Charming. Spiders. How fitting. Bombarder. Bring them. Can bring them. Accurate. Good as if I had a good body. Good for you. the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Revelio. One nudge and that chest might have fallen. Oh, I think three nudges at least. These spiders are determined to make a meal of us. I'm sure we taste better than a goblin dinner. <gasps> Bomb 
Annoying little beasts, aren't they? Revelio. A staircase leading here. Whatever for? I don't think anyone's been here for ages. Confringo! Look at this place. Not really my style. A bit much, if you ask me. Akio! Confringo! Bombarda! Can't have been the only challenge. Perhaps we should search for room. We've seen rune symbols like these before. Rebellio. Can't get out of here quick enough. Sebastian, a journal entry. We should look for more. Why couldn't she have kept all our journal entries in one place? Come on, come 
Protego! Propendo! That troll says repair on this. Debris everywhere. That was a piece of work. More than one. A journal entry. Isadora was here. Out of breath after all of those stairs. But the view, well worth it. Akio! Guardian Leviosa! Nice work. Your skills never cease to surprise me. Another barrier. We can blast through it, I'm certain. This can't be a dead end. Must be another floor above us. Good news? This journal entry sounds worrisome. Revelio. Confringo! Ah, almost as good as if I'd done it myself. This place can't have belonged to only Isadora. Another rune symbol. 
feel as if I should be fluent in runic language by now. Confirm them! Isadora created. Isadora must have honed her skill with ancient magic here. I know from the memories I've seen that the Keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. I wish you could see one of her memories. Final canvas piece to the triptych. We've done it. Isadora should not have had to keep all this secret. I know from the memories I've seen that the keepers and Isadora didn't see eye to eye on the use of ancient magic. But I don't understand why she seems to have gone to such great lengths to tell her story without their knowledge. I wish you could see one of her memories. So do I. Perhaps completing the triptych will shed more light on all of this. I cannot believe the journey this triptych took us on. This is it. Don't keep me in suspense. Go on, place it. Huh. Another pensive. This is what we've been chasing. Find out. I cannot bring my brother back, Father, but I can give you peace. Have a seat. Isadora, we are all most intrigued to hear. We're ready. I've something to show you. Father, these are my colleagues from Hogwarts. Father hasn't spoken since my brother died. On my travels, I confirm that which I've always believed. That we have the power to take away pain. Isadora. did indeed. Of course it did. It's goblin silver. I need something much bigger. All right. It would help if you could tell me more about what it is you're storing. Magic. 
left over from a spell I devised to remove pain. But if used correctly, its power can be used to do even more good. Why would you want to store such magic away? I only need to keep it safe until I can convince my colleagues of its worth. Magic like this? Unnerves them. Oh, everyone's ready to wield such power. Perhaps not. But someone will be. <sighs> she took away the pain. I knew it. I knew there was a way to help Anne. Something isn't right, Sebastian. What do you mean? You saw what she did. No, not the memories, the portrait. I, I think the reason Isadora hasn't appeared is because she can't. I don't follow. We have seen that view before. The abandoned home in Felgroff, the destroyed painting. It was her. So someone destroyed a bit of enchanted canvas, but... We found the memory. Yes. Yes, you're right. We saw what she wanted us to see. We saw what she could do, what you can do. But I don't know how to do what Isadora did. Well, then you shall learn. The Keepers can teach you. I'm not sure that they would. The Keepers believe that removing someone's ability to feel pain, it's a highly complicated, unpredictable form of magic. One that should be wielded with great care. If at all. If at all? You've overcome all of their challenges. You've more than proven yourself. You can wield it. You have the ability. Please, talk to the Keepers. If not for me, then for Anne. Why did the Keepers want to keep Isadora quiet? Why destroy her portrait? Pardon me, is everything all right? No, no it's not. We only had two bells to go, but she just had to go and spoil things. I'm afraid I don't follow who spoiled things. Was it what bells? <sighs> Professor Black ordered Mr. Moon to take down the bells in the bell tower. Said they were giving him a headache. Those bells are a part of Hogwarts. I wasn't about to let that happen. So I asked my friend Adelaide to help me put them back. We've always been a duo of sorts, Adelaide and Evangeline, Addie and Evie. Anyway, it was going swimmingly until Black started asking questions. Then she wasn't comfortable with our rule breaking. Now I'm stuck, unable to tell which bell goes where. Is it really that important that the bells go back up? Is it really that important? They're part of the school's history. Those bells likely told a young Merlin that he was running late to charms. Or called Ignatia Wildsmith to dinner. We can't simply fiddle with history. We're meant to be its stewards. It's certainly an odd decree, even for Black, taking down the bells for a headache. I agree. I thought it might also have been that they interrupted his hourly naps. That's all he does in his office, you know. But then I heard... Can you keep a secret? I can. I heard from Alice, who heard from Ollie, who heard from Eugenia, that it's because the bells... 
reminded him of his wedding day. Breaks out in a sweat every hour on the hour, but mum's the word. If only two bells are left, isn't it fairly easy to tell which goes where? Easy for you, perhaps. I happen to be tone deaf. Mother likes to say I couldn't carry a tune if it hopped on my back like a chocolate frog. No point putting them back in if they don't sound just as they did before, for the sake of historical accuracy. Perhaps I could help put the bells back up. Really? Oh, that would be wonderful. The bells are in the bell tower just above the music room. You're certainly of more help than Adelaide. I imagine the bells are just inside in the bell tower. Hamora. get those up there somehow. Wingardium Leviosa, perhaps. Accio! Wingardium Leviosa! Well, that wasn't too hard. Evangeline should be pleased about this. Even if Black isn't. The bells are back up, Evangeline. Oh, you're a credit to the school. I can't wait to hear them. I can't wait for the headmaster to hear them. I wish I could see his face. Future generations may not truly appreciate what you've done, but I do. And I hope that you do as well. You don't know how much this means for me and for Hogwarts. Sir, are you all right? You seem to be in some distress. All right? Do I look all right? I've been kidnapped! How can you be kidnapped when you're right here? What sort of question is that? Of course I'm right here. I've more than one frame. Do you only have one home? It's my other frame. It's been stolen. And by students, no less. They paid filthy fees to steal my other frame. 
Oh dear, that sounds awful. Well, awful is exactly what a story of cricket is. She's behind all of this. She and her friends were moaning about me of all the nerve. Then I heard a plot to enlist a gang of good-for-nothings to have me stolen from the three broomsticks. That's why my other frame hung. Hovel of a place. Though I suppose one could do worse. I once knew a portrait who ended up in the hog's head. No one's heard from him since. Right. So back to your frame. Ah, yes. There I was, powdering my wig, and the next thing I knew, I was being manhandled by rogues and carried off. As if I could afford not to be at my post. I do important work for the headmaster, and I need my other frame back at the three broomsticks. Just who is Astoria Cricket, and what would she want with your frame? She's a fourth-year troublemaker, that's who. She and her band of hoodlums discuss all sorts of misdeeds right under my nose and then resent me for overhearing them. I can only assume they took my frame in some misguided attempt to punish me for doing my job. What do you mean you do important work for the headmaster? Let's just say I overhear quite a bit in Serona's fine establishment. And the headmaster likes to know all about it. He's come to count on me in this regard. Reminds me of my prefect days. <sighs> I don't suppose you have any idea where your stolen frame was taken. Can you see anything from it? I most certainly can. They brought me to a ruin of all places. Some crumbling atrocity surrounded by water from the sound of it. Oh, I do also recall seeing the coast on the way. I could look into the matter for you. Oh, would you? How marvellous. Do it quickly, though, won't you? The place they took me to is quite beneath me. Off you go, then. Alohomora. Rebellion. A story of cricket? That depends. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hog's head. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you.
on another adventure, are we? Be proud. Hello, sir. Might you have some time to talk? I have all the time in the world for a potential customer. <laughs> How do you do? I'm Cromwell. Clifford Cromwell. I'd like to ask you a bit about Mar and Weem, if you don't mind. Of course. Lived here for years. Lovely, peaceful place to settle in. Have you heard rumours about dark witches or wizards lurking nearby? Try to avoid them when I can. Nasty lot, Rookwood's crew. However, I did see a poacher not too long ago. Not good for business. Not good at all. I'd like to learn a bit about you, sir, if you don't mind. Well, how charming. No one ever asks about me. Been in Marrowing since I left Hogwarts. I did some work with the Ministry as a young man. A uh, confidential project. <laughs> Had to do with the usage of mandrakes. As weapons, believe it or not. Went through enough cotton wool in my ears to fill a cauldron. But after a time, I sought a quieter life. Set up shop here, selling my wares. I am always content among my plants. What can you tell me about your shop? I sell plants and their byproducts here. Herbology was always my passion, even as a young Hufflepuff at Hogwarts. I've met some interesting students in Hufflepuff. Hard-working lot, I gather. We are indeed. Glad to know our reputation still stands strong. What do you have for sale? Ah, yes. What can I do for you? Such a pleasure doing business with you. Sure to visit again. Always brightens my day helping you, young ones. If it weren't for the cost of things these days, I'd be Rebellion. It's like a place. 
place right out of a storybook. Hello, Hamora. Of your time. Anyone casting unthinkable. Confringo! Hello, Hamora. Revelio. What's this? A child wanders too far from home. Bombarda. The trip he goes to hell! Murder! What was that? Had enough? You're the one who released Treadwell on Ariel. As you wish. Stand and fight me. Tiger! Bombarda. if I'm not careful. Lumos.
Revelio. Lumos. Not so tricky after all, Merlin. Revelio. Alohomora. Calm down, I'm here now. Calm down? Those buffoons outside have been talking about burning me! Me! If they weren't all sharing half a brain, they'd realize I'm worth more to them intact and at the three broomsticks. How is that? With everything I overhear, I have a veritable trove of information. Now, don't just stand there. I need to be back by cocktail hour. The place will be like a funeral without me. Let's get out of here then, shall we? Uh, be sure to carry me carefully, won't you? My pantaloons are already creased. Where have you put me? It's pitch black in here. I shan't stand for this. My young friend. You've made a mistake. found one of Randrock's drills in a mine along the shore. I intend to destroy it. I'm tired of trying to reason with him. You're welcome to join me, but if I don't see you there, I will reach out when I return. I have something to give you. Would you please meet with me in the Great Hall? I have come upon a difficult time and I need a friend. Are you familiar with the hamlet of Irondale? It's south of the castle. I think the cave that Doran wanted us to find is near there. Lord God's getting himself into more danger than he realizes. I'd better find him. Alohomora. No, it's not. It's the hog's head. Did you fall into a cauldron of stupid potion? You brought me to the wrong place! It's absolutely vile in here. It's no three broomsticks, that's for certain. Please! 
please, you can't mean to leave me here. Please. Goodbye, Ferdinand. Enjoy your new home. Oi, I normally toss the both of you out. But I like the look of the fancy man. Target practice. Bastards. <laughs> 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 Nice to see you, my young friend. Some days are more difficult than others. Nasi, is everything all right? <sighs> there are times when my father's absence drifts to the back of my mind, and I feel peace for a day or two. But this is not one of those times. I miss him. I miss running with him. I miss Matibele land. He should still be here. And it's my fault that he isn't. I'm sorry, Natty. I wish there was something I could do to help. You have done plenty. In fact, many of my good days are good because of you. The bad days, however. I believe I would feel less helpless if I could truly put an end to Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's miserable lot. Each day they remain free, they do more damage, leaving people like Archie Biko to suffer the consequences. I agree, Natty. We'll get them. I've never seen someone so committed to a cause. Thank you. I believe we will get them. Beginning with Harlow. Thank you for speaking with me. It was very helpful. <laughs> 